Hello, friends. Well, for today's devotional, I decided to turn to the Christian in Complete Armor by William Gurnall. Um, it's been quite a while since I've shared a devotional of his, and um, he was a Puritan writer from back in the 1600s is when this was originally written. And so, um, thankfully, there are folks who have taken his his old uh, writing writings and have um, updated them in today's English. So I'm thankful for that. Um, nevertheless, this uh, devotional I wanted to read to you today is called Impotency Without Christ. And I'll just read this first paragraph. He says, when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Romans 5, 6. What can an unarmed soul do to shake off the yoke of Satan? No more than an unarmed person can do to shake off the yoke of a conquering army. Satan has such power over the soul that he is called the strong man who keeps the soul as his palace. Luke eleven twenty one. 21. If he has no disturbance from heaven, he need, he need fear no mutiny within. He keeps everything under his control. What the Spirit of God does in a, saint, in a saint, let me restart that sentence, what the Spirit of God does in a saint, Satan in a diabolical sense does in a sinner. The Spirit fills the heart with love, joy, holy desires. Satan fills the sinner's heart with pride, lust, lying, and like the drunkard filled with wine, the sinner filled with Satan is not his own man, but an, but an impotent slave. And he goes on to just explain that, I mean, any type of fighting against our enemy and his wiles and his um, arrows that he fires at us, any, any resistance apart from Christ impotent, you know, it, it's useless. You're not going to be able to um, resist without the, um, without the Savior abiding within. So I just wanted to take a moment to encourage you, and I'm going to be preaching on this similar, uh, yeah, I'm going to be preaching on this this Sunday, and that is the idea that, um, we have an enemy and we we must find ways to uh, remember truth because what does our enemy do what is his tactic what is his specialty lying falsehood deceit that's what he specializes in so this sunday i hope to bring very practical teaching on what it means to resist and what it means to have victory, what that looks like in a practical way to have victory over our enemy and his schemes. God bless you all. Have a wonderful Thursday.